created this very sparkly pinky makeup look for you guys um, which I think is just so great for like New Year's Eve I'm just so obsessed with this glitter that I've used it's just so so pretty and it, the glitter is so fine and it's like you make the slightest movement and you see like sparkle like it's just proper sparkle and I just love it so much I've even put some glitter in the inner corner as well but anyways I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I wish you all a very happy new year and yeah so I'm first going to use my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in Medium Dark Warm to act as a base for my eyeshadow. It actually does a really good job at preventing shadow creasing and it makes your eyeshadow last really really long. So I just like to use this technique and blend with my Real Technique sponge. And then grabbing my Zoeva Cocoa Blend Eyeshadow Palette, I'm grabbing this coppery brownie shade. Uh, in the palette as my transition colour and you really want to blend this in the crease. Then taking my Jaclyn Hills favourite palette by Morphe Brushes I'm grabbing this really bright matte fuchsia colour and we're going to apply this in the inner and the outer corner of the eye. Well then I ended up placing it all over the eyelid. Um, and you don't have to be neat with this. I just took a flat brush and just basically patted it and smudged it everywhere. <laughs> then I'm going to take this matte Albany shade and apply this on the outer V corner. We're not going to do a winged line or anything so I really wanted to round the outer corner off. and. You can barely tell on camera, this, this is why I'm so sick of this camera, I'm going to get a new one soon, but um, it's a, it did like kind of define the crease more and the outer corner as well. Then I decided to take this darker Albany shade and then place this on top of the shade before that and really deepened the outer area of the eye. I then grabbed my Isla Lash Glue and this Glitter Dust by Beauty UK and it's just such a lovely glitter thing, it's really fine and it really sparkles like so much. So I took a null brush and applied the glue on my lash, on my eyelid I mean, and then I used my finger to pat the glitter on top. Make sure to use an old brush for the lash glue because it will ruin your brush and yeah so you can just apply the glitter wherever you can do it on the center or just in the inner corner but i just put it all over the mobile lid i then took a tapered brush by morphe to just soften up the edges and make sure that the glitter was not too harsh um, on the edges so that everything was blended out basically i then took a makeup wipe and wiped all the glitter away from my face and I then curled my lashes and when I was done with my curling I just took my Maybelline Lash Sensational I used the intense black one I just prefer this one then I grabbed my Garnier Moisture Match Cream to hydrate my skin and when I was done with that I started to colour correct some areas of my face where there's a bit of hyperpigmentation I used my LA Girl orange corrector and just blend it out with my Real Technique sponge and then I grabbed my foundation I'm using the Estee Lauder Double Wear and I'm actually going to just dot this all over my face and then I grabbed my Sanctuary Facial Oil and just added a few drops onto my sponge which was damp and I got this tip of Farah Dukai um, she, her skin always looks flawless so I really like this technique to get really dewy skin especially with a dry kind of like dry foundation like the double wear it also helps to hydrate your skin as well if you have dry skin I then grabbed my Maybelline Fit Me concealer in the shade 25 it was a bit too light but I feel like I should put less of it so then I just added my um, Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer on top and then blended the two together but I, I like the concealer, it's just that I need to apply less of it. I then went in as, as well to set that in and I used the Makeup Revolution Ultra Contour Kit and I used the yellow powder from the palette and I just dusted that over the concealer to just set it in.
I then kind of bronzed up my skin with this Sephora Blush Me in Brun. It's like one of my favourite products ever. I just love this so much. And I grabbed my big fluffy Sephora brush and applied this on my cheeks and a bit on my temples as well. And it really helps to slim out your face doing this. And then grabbing this very cool tone brown from the Makeup Revolution palette, I just contoured a bit. And then I quickly grabbed my NYX Matte Bronzer in Deep and just added that on top a bit as well. And on my forehead. Then grabbing this sleek Bare Kissed Illuminator in Monaco, I applied some on my hand and with my damp sponge I just dabbed this on my cheeks, well the, my cheekbones, nose, a bit on my forehead and Cupid's bow. I really love this product, if you haven't tried it yet and you like dewy skin, definitely try this. And then I grabbed my Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter in Golden Lights I believe and I just applied this on top. I then added some of that matte fuchsia shade from the Jaclyn Hill Favourites palette on my lower lash line and smoked that out a bit. And I also added some mascara as well on my lower lash. Then for my lips, I'm using the MUA Lip Lacquer in House Scion. I wasn't too sure about it at first, but then I really liked it with the look. So um, I just applied this all over my lips. And then I added some glitter in the inner corner, I used this Glam, I think it's called Glam Clip Crystals by Collection, it was like 2 dollars or something and I just added this in the inner corner and I just thought it just really added to the look. And uh, my final step was to just set my skin with my Smashbox Primer Water and then I was all done. If you haven't tried this primer water I definitely definitely recommend it, it's so so good, I just love it so much. But um, yeah that's the end of this uh, makeup look, I really really hope you like it, this is like one of the favourite looks I've created, it's just so sparkly and glittery, I just love it so much. But make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did like it and subscribe for more videos, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video, bye guys and also happy new year. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a highly requested video for you guys which was on my hair care routine. Um, my hair care routine is super simple, I don't really do that much, it's just that uh, a couple of the products are quite important to me. And